about the future of the web, right? Yes. So you think people are focusing on the right thing? Well, I think the, mar the corporations, the marketers on the web, still have this notion of, oh, people come to the web to pay attention to our products, so let's help them search for them, let's put advertising on, and gee, let's see how much attention we can get. But consumers don't go on the web to pay attention to products. Sometimes they go on the web to search for things, but they, they go on the web to Facebook to hang out with their friends. They go out to look at stuff, they go out to read weird things, they go out to get attention from other, other people online. So what marketers need to understand is how to fit into that context. And instead of blasting consumers with advertising, they should be there trying to help them. It's like when you, even when, if you go into a store with a friend and you're talking, You want to know that the salesperson is there if you need help finding the jeans, but you're there to talk to your friend and you don't want the salesperson coming up and interrupting you all the time. So what I think the canonical website of the future is going to do is going to be either supporting people talking to their friends or you're going to get things that are almost a reflection of the user back, whether it's something like Stardoll where you pick your surroundings, you may want to buy stuff, but it's It's sort of, you decorate, it's, it's your creation. And then the vendor may come in there as an assistant. When I go to American Airlines, I don't really want to know about all of American's flights. I want to know about the flights I took. I want to know about my miles. And then I would like to know, I would love it if, for example, on Doppler, American Airlines could see that I was going to San Francisco next week, and then they could say, well, you know, we have a really great offer. But only when and, you want it, yeah. Well, I would happily friend American. I would not friend Continental. And take Orbitz. I was on the advisory board of Orbitz. I've been a customer for four years. You'd think by now that they would know that I fly United and American, and I don't really want to look at Continental and JetBlue. But in four years, they can't figure that out. And that, that's not going to survive. So what, what should they do? Well, Orbitz, for example, is for, I mean, Like it's not banner advertising, no, it's no. not for the second ads in video. What, I mean, this what is what I'm you? trying to say. Even when I do a search on Orbitz, by now they know they should know me well enough that they know which are my favorite airlines. They should know that when I pick a hotel, I always ask for a hotel with a pool. They have that information, but they're not using it. And so it's it's like the simplest thing. And in fact, they're going to have to search less information if All they have to search is United and American. And, and so the searches should take less time, they should use less of their computer resources, and they still don't do that. And I, 